So I made it to Malapasca Island. It was a bit of a interesting journey yesterday. After a long bus ride, we had a bit of trouble getting onto the boat because it was low tide and then it was a choppy boat ride in the rain. Same again on the other side, low tide. But we made it and then I got here and it started tipping it down. So I was a bit grumpy by the time I got to the hostel and I was a bit soaking. All my clothes are already dirty, so I just had to stay in wet clothes for the rest of the day, and then I had to go find somewhere to do laundry, which meant walking around in the rain, and I couldn't find anyone, I was just getting really stressed and really pissed off. And then I just chilled out and had some really good food, a vegan and vegetarian restaurant here at the hostel, Villa Sandra. This is my room. I have mosquito nets. That is an absolute luxury, and I'm not sharing with anyone right now, so that's really nice. And plot twist, I bought a mini travel guitar. I enjoyed learning the guitar so much at Tad's place and I felt really sad to be leaving it behind so I found a little one. It cost me 1,400 pesos which isn't bad but I have no idea if I'm going to be allowed to take it on airplanes because I've already got two big backpacks and I don't know if I'm going to have to check it in or if I can take it as hand luggage. Last night my laptop charging cable just snapped right off so I don't know when I'm going to be able to edit this vlog or upload ever again, because if I can't find a new charger, then that's it for this YouTube channel. Just having a wander around the island, really, to see what's what and what's about. It's crazy how, in two space of two minutes, you've got people living in absolute poverty and shacks and stuff like that, you know, the whole family in one room corrugated roof and then the next door you've got fancy resorts and dive shops it's crazy seeing the live drummers drumming away having a good time getting some good vibes and just now I spent like an hour on the phone to Air Asia trying to change my flight from Manila to Bali it's supposed to be on the 30th but I extended my visa and normally it's not a problem you can just pay 30 pounds and that's your penalty for changing the flight but they're telling me now that there's no flights at all available in December um, and it's not because they're sold out because I can see them on Skyscanner um, and she can't tell me whether or not it's because the volcano has just erupted in Bali and she wants me to call Air Asia Indonesia to find out um, So I'm getting angry on Twitter, but we're gonna see what happens there first things first I'm gonna FaceTime my mom and chill out because I am stressed right now It's been a wild 24 hours. Let me tell you Yesterday I had such a stress and drama I was trying to organize with Air Asia changing my flight and they just pissed me off for so long I found out today that um the flights to Bali, where my flight is supposed to be, uh, is cancelled anyway because of this volcano that's just erupted. So I should just get my money back, fingers crossed. I just got to find a way to sort it. Now I'm supposed to be staying here in Malapasca for another day. I was going to go and book myself onto a thresher diet. Shh. Oh my god, shut up. I was going to go and book myself a dive with the Thresher Sharks tomorrow at 4 in the morning which is the main reason that people come to Malapasca in the first place but then Lost LeBlanc, Christian LeBlanc who is one of my favourite travel vloggers and the reason that I got excited about the Philippines in the first place posted that he's going to host a meetup tonight in Cebu City at 5.30 and I figured if I leave exactly right now I can make it in time so off I go because in life we are faced with these dilemmas and decisions and I'm sure the sharks will still be here another day but networking opportunities not so much so mad rush to pack and get sorted gotta find somewhere to stay in Cebu now gonna go hopefully meet up with some cool vloggers and Instagrammers and shit like that After a six hour long, stressful, cramped, sweaty minibus journey, I'm now here in Cebu City. I'm a little bit late for this meetup, so I'm hoping I haven't missed it. I'm heading there now, but fingers crossed it's not too late. So I'm here at Christian's meetup. I'm just chatting to some guys who are all subscribers of Christian's, and we're 
having a chin wag getting to know each other. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. This is lovely, and lovely just had a photo with me, a lovely photo as it goes. And she then taught me the word for thank you in Filipino, which is salamat. 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 Yeah, that's Good. It. Thank you very much. <laughs> Say hi. 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 <laughs> Welcome to Cebu. Thank you. I'm here we're with the world famous Christian LeBlanc. World famous. The very reason, <laughs> the very reason that so many people are traveling in the Philippines right now is a true honor, sir. <laughs> I'm so glad to have met you, man. I'm in like, it's an honor that you went from Malapasqua to be here tonight. That's a distance. That's got me done. Mean, really, but it's got me done. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you made it. And truly, there's a reason people are coming here right now. It's such a beautiful country. The people are amazing, as I've seen tonight. I had like 200 people, and they all had so many cool stories. So I bet you're exhausted now. <laughs> I am exhausted, though. I can't. I don't think I'll be able to smile tomorrow. No way. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> but it's true what they say. It is more fun in the Philippines. Very true. <laughs> new Filipino friends and I are going for dinner. I've just got myself a new MacBook charger at the Alien Centre here in Cebu, so I'm very happy to be able to return to editing this evening. But first, I need to eat something. We'll just get water. <laughs> <laughs> just got back to my hostel after having a nice dinner with my new Filipino friends, and I had a really great time meeting up with Christian and all the other guys there, the other vloggers and other um, subscribers. Really, really fun. But now I'm absolutely knackered. I've been traveling and rushing around all day. Still haven't even showered today, but I think I'll have to give that a miss tonight. If you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would love to see you again, so please hit that subscribe button. I will see you again soon with another vlog. Goodbye.